guys, Mixit here, back again for another review video. Not a cocktail video. And today's review is this Recorderlink Botanicals. So it is Recorderlink Premium Botanicals and it's rhubarb, lemon, and mint. But say I got it from Mazda. You can get four of these bottles for five pound. But say it's four percent. It's quite nice when I tried it. So, but we'll give it a review. So we'll compare everything from taste, the design of the bottle, pricing. And it, should quality, you get it? Yeah. It's quite should you buy it? So it's 330ml, 4%, and let's do it. Let's review this. Okay. Because as you can see, guys, we've got our uh, familiar guest with me, Joe's GC. Hello. So if you want to subscribe to Joe's GC, do check his channel. It's because it's on 14.3. He's looking to uh, get to 15k subs before the year's out, so do send him some love. Thank you. Thank you. I am the cider connoisseur which is why I'm here to give everybody a quality review on this Recorderlink Cider. So firstly, gluten-free, vegan. I was recently on a vegan diet. Getting hold of vegan cider drinks is always a good way to go. I know Thatcher's Gold is also a vegan drink. Well, if you are vegan, this is also a way to go. And also if you are gluten-free. Now, it's got good colour. Um, I'm not too sure how it's picking up on the camera, it might look quite clear and see-through, but it does definitely have a kind of a pink tint to it, doesn't it? Certainly does. Certainly does. Uh, and that'll be all the flavours mixing together yeah, the uh, with the rhubarb, lemon uh, and mint. So, firstly, let's crack this open. 330ml standard bottle size. Perfect. The smell. Nice and chilled as well. Very sweet is how it smells. And always, when having cider, have it chilled in the fridge. If you've got a glass with ice, have it with a glass of ice. I always feel like it just adds a little bit more to the flavour. So let's have a little taste uh, and see how this does actually taste. It does taste very sweet. Does it taste a purse? It's supposed to be a purse cider with the botanicals. I'm getting more of a lemon, lemony taste to to the cider. Like the strongest flavour you taste. In yeah. Um, it reminds me of one of them drinks that uh, if you used to drink too much too quickly, no. um, it'll make you feel very gassy and. Uh, you just feel your stomach inflate a little bit, so I would say just to drink and take your time and really enjoy the drink. I think from a personal point of view, I prefer recording like strawberry and lime and that kind of... That way about it, yeah. yeah. Because I didn't mind it when I tested it the other day. Yeah. And personal opinions, but I kind of liked it like that. Yeah, so if it tastes, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10 on my personal one. I, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10 too, and it isn't. I will it's not say, favourite. I will say that if I went to the supermarket to buy some cider, I don't think this would be high up on my list of drinks that I would buy. And that sounds a little harsh. However, if I was on a day out or a night out and I was having a few drinks and I was going up to the bar, when I go out to drink, I tend to drink different drinks each time I have a drink. I don't tend to drink the same same drink. Uh, I reckon once I've had three or four drinks that I would probably then move on to, to something like this, something that will give a nice sweet taste. Um, and I certainly don't think it's a bad cider. I do on my own personal preference have uh, my own favourites. Like you said, strawberry and lime mixed yeah. fruit uh, is also another one of my favourite. Um, I'm not... I mean, I prefer Copperberg to record. Well, how, yeah, I'm especially honest. as about to ask, how do you compare Recorderly to the other big hitters in the game? In terms of fruit cider, and yeah. this one in particular. So, like your Copperbergs and all that, Magnus, Bournemouth. Yeah, I, I don't think this is as nice as Copperberg, uh, and I do find. Uh, Bulmers is one of my favourite. Magnus I'm not overly keen on, other than Strombo. their original. And Strombo's just started to dip into the market of fruit cider other than dark fruits, which obviously they've already taken the market with. Uh, I would say this ranks somewhere, not quite at the bottom, but somewhere between the bottom and middle for this own flavour. Like I said, Recordless Strawberry and Lime would probably be a lot higher up on that list. Uh, whereas this one in particular, uh, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's anything sort of different. Better. 
Yeah. Give it a try. It's an interesting one. Like I said, it's got a nice appealing colour. It looks very pretty. Um, I think this would appeal to, to, to some people. Uh, it would stand out as a drink that would look appealing to drink. You look at the drink and you think, I would like to have a taste of that. Uh, however, um, like I said, I know my own taste preference and what I like to look for. Uh, and strawberry and lime and mixed fruit are two of my favourite flavours. Whereas the uh, lemon, mint and rhubarb mixing together, it's okay. Personally, don't think it's much better. What does the mixologist expert think? I said I don't want to test that on you. Yeah. Like I said, it's not my favourite recorded Lux cider. Because it's certainly sweet, it's because I can taste the botanicals. The strongest part, I can taste the rhubarb. Yeah, rhubarb. So I can taste the lemon and the, of course, the lemon the taste. I get, I, get from it. I get lemon as their aftertaste, is what I taste. I like it, like I said before, 6 out of 10 like that. Mm. Trouble and lime, I prefer those. Fair enough, fair but enough. But say for a designer bottle, so it's pretty box standard really what it is, a bottle. I agree. Five out of ten. It's a typical 330ml typical bottle. Uh, I think the actual labelling of itself, I said it looks very pretty, it looks very appealing. It looks almost feminine to me, yeah? It is, but I think, like a, like a I wonder if there's aiming it towards a uh, female drinkers as well. But, uh, yeah. I said it's, 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 well, it's yeah. an appealing eye cap. It's appealing, it's not awful. Drink. I think it's one of those that if you're peering over the bar and looking in the fridge and, and you're seeing something like this and you see it's quite unusual, you might be tempted to say, what's yeah. that? I'll have a taste of that. Um, but actually, like drink after drink, um, it's not something I would drink pint could easily drink pint it. of. No, but you could easily drink that. Yeah. 4 percent it's okay. It's not the weakest, it's not the, weakest it's not so, the strongest yeah. either. You should wear one strong, I like strong both, right? Yeah. Okay, super. So it was four bottles for five pound. So that average is about 125. Standard price. Standard price, yeah. Standard Nothing price. special, but yeah. Standard, go for a Mazda, of a more say, fairly decently priced. Six out of 10. You can normally pick up 500 mil bottles for three for five pound normally in Asda for, for record living yeah. Copperberg that are mixed together that you can buy one of or the other uh, and you can mix and match and buy them um, and so I would say with four bottles at 330 mil um, it's, it's, it's a standard price, yeah, it's, standard, it's a standard yeah. price, it's nothing that's excessively expensive, it's also not excessively yeah, not like, really cheap, it's like a great deal, yeah, 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 so well, Christmas coming, maybe look out and see if they do do special offers. Yeah, what I would say though is if you do want to try it, and you do like ciders, and you do like fruity tasting drinks uh, with your alcohol, give it a try. And if you do have, uh, if you have had a try, let us know what you thought in the comments below. Yep, yeah, has something else to mention. So it tastes about six. Bottom design was five. Price, box stand and all that, five, six. So uh, let's give it an overall score. I'm going to stick my overall score. I'm going to go for uh, the Record Leg Rhubarb Lemon and Mint Premium Botanicals drink, a five out of ten. I think I'm going to give it five out of ten, but there's two five out of tens and one six, so that bumps it down to overall five out of ten for me as well. I think we should do some more cider reviews. I enjoyed this. Coming soon. Oh, it's not a strong I want some. I want. I want several ciders, and we'll give them so a try. Oh, that is a video bad. idea right there. Bam, bam, bam. So I might do some uh, beers as well. Like I said, I do prefer that as well. But yeah, but if you'd like to see any more reviews or any drinks or even cocktails to review, if you want to see any, do let me know in the comments below. Do and I do thank you for the support as we finally reached 600 subs. But as I say, it's been a fantastic year, we smashed our goal 500, that was 600 and it's been fantastic. So we're well on our way towards 1k subs now. The big number, yeah. the big number, 1,000 subscribers, let's get you on that big march next year towards yeah. 1,000 subscribers. So if you're new from my channel that's tuned over here, please do subscribe, that would be much appreciated. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Mix It for more cocktail and review videos like this. And I will see you guys for the next 
Christmas cocktail video. Yes. I like Christmas cocktails. Cheers. Chin chin. See you next time. Ciao for now.